In the United Nations Security Council meeting, Russia and Ukraine traded allegations on the origin of the missile that struck a children's hospital in Kiev recently. At least 43 people were killed and 150 others were injured in the collective strikes that Russia carried out on Ukraine across several major cities. Russian ambassador tried distancing the country from the attack, citing details of videos posted by Ukraines. He said it was a rocket of Ukraine's air defense that hit the children's hospital and not one that came from Russia. In videos posted by the Ukrainian users, it's clear to see how one after one after another, without any interference, five rockets of the Russian Air Force strike the factory. Also, it's clearly seen that without any interference, a single rocket hits the children's hospital, a rocket of the air defense of Ukraine. It's impossible to mistake it due to the easily recognizable rocket fin assembly and other traits. Ukraine's ambassador countered this argument, stating that the video evidence of the strike confirms a Russian missile that indeed had struck the hospital. The footage clearly testifies that the Ahmadi hospital was a deliberate target. The footage captured the moment the KH-101 missile dives towards the hospital building. Now, in the UNSC session, US and UK sided with Ukraine slamming Russia. US Ambassador to UN Linda Thomas-Greenfield said that the attack made abundantly clear that Russia, Russian President Vladimir Putin is not interested in peace. Let's be clear. This brutal attack is hardly a standalone incident. In March 2022, Russian airstrikes damaged a maternity and children's hospital in Mariupol. In December 2023, a Russian missile plunged into a medical facility in Dnipro. UK ambassador to UN Barbara Woodward called the attack cowardly depravity. Russia has violated the UN Charter and repeatedly breached international humanitarian law. Its conduct is a disgrace to the Security Council and especially to the President's seat. Meanwhile, tensions continue to escalate on the battlefield. Russian forces claim to have captured another village in eastern Ukraine near the Russian-held city of Donetsk. In its daily report, the Russian Defense Ministry said it liberated the settlement of Yasno-Brodovko.